Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another review. This is my GT86, uh, a car which I really like. It's my daily and it's my winter car. But there is mainly one thing that I don't like that I noticed that a lot of you guys also have a problem with. The seat lacks um, both lumbar support, support but not in the lower back, uh, in the mid back. And then the neck, I really don't like the neck because when I sit, it feels like the neck support pushes my head way too forward. And no matter how I put it, it's still the same. And my seat is tilted all the way back. So sometimes I remove the uh, neck support all the way. But as you can see, there is nothing here in the neck. I can fit my whole hand there and both with the lumbar support the lacking of it so i bought these two pillows way too expensive absolutely not worth the money way too expensive but still since i have them i'm going to show you um, the pillow the one that they show on the site is larger um, i thought that you only chose uh, choose from uh, Alcantara or um, or leather and I chose this one and uh, it's not the same model as the as the one they show in the video uh, that one is larger and like it pushes out a bit more this one has a rubber band so you just put it over your ordinary neck support and then this one has nothing and that annoys me because as you see every time I open the car door the pillow just lays on the seat and most of the times I have stuff in my hand maybe my phone maybe my bag or something and I don't want to have to adjust that all the time so why not put something so I can stick it to the seat a rubber band or whatever so when I get into the car I have to adjust it and have it in the same position and with this pillow the side support you almost lose all the kind of side, side support the seat has and the neck thing I don't know I've had it like this and that's just too much I've had it a bit lower and that just pushes the back forward um, and sort of trying to have it in the middle which is not possible because it moves all the time still it doesn't do anything and I usually have a hoodie on me and when I have the hoodie on the back it's just way it's just too much with this so uh, I don't know if the other pillow is better but I really don't think so and in the video they say that or oh, warning is so comfortable you're gonna fall asleep etc etc it's just bull so the next thing doesn't do anything at all except from pushing you forward and the back pillow the back pillow is actually okay but for me as I said uh, it isn't the lumbar support that is lacking it's in in the middle so if I have it up like this that is way too much so I've noticed lately that the best for me is to have the pillow upside down. Uh, then I have the support in the middle of the back as I want it. The lumbar support is already there and this works a bit better. It's still not good. It's absolutely not worth the money. Here in Sweden, I had to pay with taxes and shipping. The shipping was crazy. I have a post about that. I think like $450, even more, I think. So just crazy. And uh, for this, you can buy any, any kind of pillow from Wish or whatever, eBay, to put there. And the same here, you just have your seat cushion or whatever to put where you have the lack of support. Uh, you can, of course, change the seat to something else. But since this is my winter car and I have uh, heated seats, I don't want to lose that function. So, um, 
yeah this is my review of the pillows the lumbar supports works the best upside down and this one is just useless uh, as i said i have a post about it if you have any questions just ask me i'll do my best to answer you and i think this is the only video with a real review of these pillows so don't buy the other review where they say oh it's so super comfortable this is it for me so long thanks for watching